Good morning. Welcome back to building a house from trees. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, feel free to check it out. It's kind of a silly little skit thing. Anyway, um, I hope everybody's well. This week's episode, uh, my friend Matt Burke came over MCB Woodworks on YouTube. I've mentioned him before. He's been involved in several of my videos. Um, he came over a few weeks ago and we framed in the construction stairs for the uh, to get upstairs, which I just walked you up. So this video, I show you uh, the whole process of cutting out the rest of the plywood, framing in the landing, and then framing up the stairs. It's so, it just changes the place so much. And of course, uh, in the next week or two, you'll see the progress of this balcony that I'm working on, which, oh man, this is fun. This is such a neat spot um, to be able to be out here and working. It's fairly terrifying, but it's, uh, it's a good, it's a good project. It's a lot of fun. Oh man. All right. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Like, share, subscribe, send it around, watch it again. And uh, thanks for everybody's support and kind comments. All right, we'll see you next week, probably sooner rather than later. Okay, bye. Look at that. Suddenly it's mud season. Bitter cold to 50 degrees and slop. That's okay. I'll take it. I, uh, I like it. Okay, so I'm working this morning on laying out this. This is the uh, sketch up. Thank you, Jeremy, for the uh, landing for the second story stairs, the stairs leading up there. And they're just construction stairs for now, but I'm sure they'll be construction. They'll be permanent for years. Um, it's just the way I think these things work. But uh, I am going to start laying this out. That's in here, and um, that's why I grabbed those two by fours. So here we go. So I put um, I put hangers here. I've explained this in previous videos, but just to be redundant, I guess, and clear, um, I'm using joist hangers here because this is a uh, red oak beam that's now dry and you know tantamount to iron. Hear that? Sounds like iron. Um, anyway, I put it, I put in this last uh, joist here. I left it kind of wild because I wasn't sure um, about the layout of this this wall that's going to be under here and that's going to terminate I think about here so 
That's why I waited. And that's where it is. L. Seven. R. Tetris. Tetris. This is shockingly heavy. This is that uh, Tamarack, that 6x6 that I milled. And I'm going to use this as a post for the corner of the landing and probably holding up the handrail. So, kind of freestanding and very pretty grain, but I got to give it a planing before I do that, before I install it. So, here we go for that miserable task. It smells so good. It smells just like lemon of some sort. Some kind of lemon thing. Okay, so now I have to determine the face, meaning the, the part that's facing out, and I think I want it to be something interesting, like, I mean, that's really cool, and that's really pretty, so is that, so I think I'll make my notch here, and then this way is facing south. This is a little bit of a risky maneuver um, using Getting power there. As I was saying, this is a little bit of a risky maneuver using uh, this green larch or tamarack, but as you can see, kind of right in the middle of the bullseye, and I don't think it'll warp and twist too much. Um, and if it does, we'll we'll deal with it. But it's such a beautiful piece of wood. It's such a beautiful grain, so I'm happy to be using it. And we got two inches in. So. Perfect. These metal, uh, metal hammer hoops are convenient, but they're annoying. It's like I'm a cow in the Swiss Alps, wearing a weird old steel bell, wandering the green, virulent fields. Well, it's a little strange, but I think I'll get used to it. Thank you. 
building a house from trees. Freshly cut. <coughs> I get a lot of questions um, about building with green lumber. A lot of my projects you've seen I'm building with green lumber. And, uh, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, have, I do know. I have a good idea. This is clean pine. There's no branches. Um, I'm not worried about massive cracking or warping or twisting. Um, and I'm building this entire uh, landing out of the same lumber. It's the same, it was cut at the same time, the tree was cut at the same time. All the green lumber, all this 2x6 material is equally green and will dry at the same pace. So it's not going to dry and shrink. You know, there's not going to be a dry 2x6 and then a dry, not that that's going to matter, you know, these 8 inch integral intervals, but it's all measured and cut. Um, at the same, and in theory will dry at the same same rate. So, oh, the level don't lie unless the level's lying. But I don't think the level's lying. So, the level don't lie. I'm so cold. There it is. All right, well, what we have here is the uh, landing for the stairs going up to the second floor. Obviously, this is not the, the finished surface. Um, these are construction stairs. So what that means is that the, these stairs are going to be the primary stairs in the house for the next 20 to 45 years. Um, construction stairs, you understand. Um, yeah, it's, it's, I'm, I was curious about the amount of space on the landing versus that taking away shoulder space, eight inches, but it's fine. And especially once we get stairs in tomorrow, uh, my buddy Matt from MCB Woodworks, uh, check out his YouTube channel, which I've stared you towards before, but it's worth a second look. Um, he's coming over tomorrow and we are going to frame in these construction stairs. So that's going to make life a lot easier for getting to the now upstairs, well, almost upstairs instead of up ladder, and then I can start working more up there. There's a million directions to be pointing right now, and it's just a matter of focusing and uh, staying, staying focused because, uh, like I said, there's just a million things that need to be done, and it'll happen. As uh, a few commenters have pointed out, it's like eating an elephant, which that's a weird thing. What a weird phrase. Because obviously somebody's eating an elephant at some point one person and uh, my guess is they didn't have refrigeration so they'd have to do it kind of quickly how about that all right it's cold the ground's frozen and it feels like winter but the birds know otherwise It's 19 degrees and windy. It's 
cold. But these birds know something that the temperature doesn't. Spring's coming. And it's nice. It's nice to hear. Big, beautiful flock. With that four-wheel drive pickup, I had no problem getting down and also keeping it cleared with the tractor. It was fine, but it's cleared and kind of dried out already, so that's really nice. Yesterday was cold. I'm not sure how the sap ran. Um, let's see. Oh, wow. There's more in there than I expected. That's kind of a pleasant surprise. Huh. I'm gonna have to boil off either well, I'll probably start this afternoon. Go into tomorrow and make some more syrup. That's a pleasant surprise, and with that big ball in the sky, it'll uh, it'll very likely be running today. Turkey tracks, or possibly some small flock of dinosaurs. But really, what's the difference? Out of the wind in here. Still a little windy, you got the basement open, but there, that is nice. And I'm gonna have a window here, and then a window here, and the wood stove will be right here. <clears throat> Pipe going up through the master bedroom, and uh, that's just gonna be flooded with light. That eastern morning light, oh, it's high in the sky. This is great. March, where's the sawmill? My neighbor Jeff is purported to come down this morning and mill some oak, so I put the hardwood blade on for him this morning, so we'll see. All right, here we go. 116. Exactly. Man, that's pretty good. Thank you. It's kind of shocking, isn't it? <laughs> it is. Yeah. I mean, I was partially involved with that too, so it's, a, <laughs> it's kind of... I'll give it to you. Okay, so that's from... Wow. Pretty good, huh? Yeah. The guy saw him. Must have known him. Was you build 20,000 board feet, you figure out how to do it correctly <laughs> after a while. And whatever, the small, you use the blade and for that, that point, right? Yep. Okay. So you want it to see how it's tight this way, up right. against this surface, yeah. and then this side on the increment. It's so. a weird spot of sunlight right there. Right. Yeah, so I, was, <laughs> I noticed that. I was like, where, where, where is it? Where, where, there it is. <laughs> you don't know where it's coming from. It's coming from that hole. The, so he was doing... Yeah, that makes sense, because it's a quarter different. <laughs> Jeremy, like, I, I literally can't believe you were using this. For your sake, Sai. Slow it down. Yeah, I'm gonna change my oil next house from Trees video. There you go. <laughs> Gotta change the oil on a Toy Matrix. And Building a house from Trees. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that fits perfectly. This plus whatever that offset needs to be. So those, the advantage that gets screwed in here, yep. and then that gets screwed in there. It's so heavy too, right. the wood. Uh, inch and an eighth. That much? Yep. 
Well, the saying first of line that anyone's ever said. Yeah. Is that you or me? All right, well. It is. You wouldn't believe. <laughs> you wouldn't believe. Sarah goes, yeah, I don't think I'm probably ever going to do different stairs. No. <laughs> Just paint, nice, the, paint nice, that white. Nice stain on the surface and yeah. you'd be good to go. I mean, granted, it was a day of work, but it is all nice pine. No, it wasn't a day. I mean, I showed up at oh, right. 30. This. Look at that. It's nice. That it's so good. comfortable. And it's not even... Those aren't even attached and it's solid. Yeah, I know. It's really solid. Really? Of course it's really right. solid. It's six oh, yeah, six by twelve. Look at that. It's stairwell. nine by twelve. Stairwell. Serious stairwell. I'm at zero percent battery somehow. Well, those are nice construction stairs. They're probably gonna be there a really long time, but I don't know. They're really solid. They're a very comfortable step. I've got big feet. They're a 12 inch, well, 12 and a half inch step. So that's, that's really nice. Um, yeah, that's great. Thank you, Matt. Amazing work. Um, yeah, just the, the mind and these guys that can kind of work through the calculation problems that I just can't really fathom. I was going to frame in a wall here, but I don't think I'm going to because the stairs are really nice and it leaves it open and kind of, you know, it looks good. So I'm going to leave it as such. <sighs> now the cleanup.